One of the unique and very useful tools of Kenavision's Applied Vision software is the measurement tool. The measurement tool allows one to do calibrated, very precise measurements, be that on a micro slide using a Kenavision digital microscope or using a Kenavision document camera and measuring larger objects uh, such as currency or insects or something of that ilk. Let's see how easy it is to calibrate and use this tool. Let's open first of all Applied Vision. Applied Vision is going to open and you'll see that I have on the camera ready to go a ruler. One of the two rules you have to remember about the, doing this uh, calibrate, setting up the calibrated measurements is you need to put in front of the camera first of all some measuring unit for which you're going to standardize the microscope or the uh, computer. In this case, I'm choosing centimeters and millimeters, and I can set up a scale. If you're looking at a microscope, you put a stage micrometer in front of the objective. All right, I take a snapshot of the measuring tool, and then I click on measure. And using my cursor, and you notice that the cursor is now an X, take the vertical line and measure, for example, in this case, centimeters from one point to the other. And I say calibrate. And it brings up this uh, box. And I'm going to call this one centimeter because that's the units I want it in. And then I'm going to say, and this is my personal code, eight centimeters. What that means to me is that the camera is 8 centimeters from the surface of the measuring tool. If I was in a microscope, I would name it uh, 10x or 4x or whatever the objective was. My known distance is going to be 1 centimeter. I can, here's the pixels, but I don't need to know those. I hit OK. At this point, I can now measure. You'll notice that I have down here a scale. I look at the scales, and here is my 1 centimeter at 8 centimeter scale. So I make sure that I'm on the scale I want to use. I then go measure. So let us say that if I want to check myself, I could measure this centimeter measurement. I just draw the line with my cursor, hit perform measurement 0.987. I'm pretty did pretty good, uh, remembering that I'm doing this with a cursor, but I'm off now in the hundreds and thousands decimal place. Do this again, perform measurement, and it came up that time. I hit it right on the nose of one centimeter. Okay, what if I now want to measure some objects? Now that I've done this calibration, I'll go back to the live image and let us put into the picture, let us say this fish I want the students to make measurements on. All right, I take a picture of it. And then again, I hit measure, measure. At this point, I would check to see what scale I'm on. At that scale, you see I'm at the one centimeter to eight centimeter scale. That's fine. Now, I told the students to measure the total length so of here. Here, I run the cursor, the length of the fish, and then I hit perform measure, and it comes up on the scale. I might have told them to do it three times to get an average because of their shakiness with the cursor. For measurement, there's a second one. And I could do a third one. I've got three. Now, let's say now we also wanted to have them measure the diameter of the eye. So I could go in here and measure the eye from there to there, perform measurement. It comes up on this chart. You notice these are being held for me in the chart. Direction doesn't matter. I can go this way across the diameter of the eye, perform measurement and see what happens, and I can then do this, go this way if I want to. Get another measurement. You notice I've kept them on a chart, and these could be copied off by the students who do whatever they want with them. Alternatively, I can say copy all measurements to clipboard, close this, and open up Excel, my Excel spreadsheet, and with the Excel spreadsheet, I can simply paste these in for the students to use and analyze or do statistical analysis with them. It's a great powerful tool. Have fun using it.